Hey kids, welcome to lesson 10, building an app, Color Sleuth number five. Next step, encapsulating game board creation in a function. Let's call the four buttons with random colors the game board. Assuming that you program now creates a new randomly generated game board each time you run. Let's take it to the next step. When playing the game, we need to create a new game board repeatedly, not just when the program starts. Since we have a chunk of code that we want to use repeatedly, that's a clue we should take that code and put it into a function. We have a do this, define a new function called set board, move all the code that sets the color of the buttons inside the function. This is actually all the code you have so far. Add a call to set board as the first line of the code in the program to Firefy that it works. When you're done, the code should look like this. And we have a set board, a function then set board, and all the code you wrote from previous exercises. Note, this program should not behave any different after this step. We're just organizing the code to make it more useful. In the next step, we'll make more use of the set board. But for now, just make a function and call it once. This lesson is actually pretty deceivingly simple. All we're really going to do is wrap all of our code into a function. I'm going to come down here, give me some space. Simply just going to drag in a function here. We're going to rename our function. And our function renaming is the my function part. Be careful. Sometimes I see students trying to put it in the parentheses there. It goes outside. So our function is going to be set board. And what we're going to do is we're just going to take all of our code and move it in between the braces. Well, that's it. If you remember of our previous units and lessons, all we did was make a function. We still have to call it so it runs. So I'm going to drag a function into here. And the function is just going to be called set board. And when set board is run, all of this will happen here. And we do that because we're using it repeatedly. As it's set up here, the program should run just like before. So let's test it out. Oops. Here's a common thing. Remember, if you click on one, you have to click off it. Otherwise, it runs it line by line. Very helpful when you're debugging, but very slow when you're testing sometimes. So reset run, random colors, button three looks like it. Random again, button three again. Let's just make sure we don't come up with button three. Oh, button one, there we go. Code is working exactly like it should. And we set everything in a function set board and called set board. I think that's all code.org wanted. Let's see if they want anything else. Nope. Good job, kids. I'll see you on the next lesson.